Boys and girls, I'd like to tell you a story today. And the story is entitled, Who is in my garden? After the story, I'm going to take you to my garden. And I'd love to show you the interesting animals, creatures, insects in my garden. We as human beings are made so perfectly. That's why we sang the song, Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. And these tiny insects are so perfectly made as well. They're interesting colors, the patterns on their bodies. If they had to sing the song, Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes, I don't know what words they'd use because I don't think they have shoulders. I don't even, nope, I don't think they have knees either. So what words could they use if they had to sing that song, boys and girls? I hope you enjoy the story and I hope you enjoy my garden. Who is in the garden? Come into the garden through this old gate. Let's go see who is in my garden. The first thing you'll see is a wren weaving its way in and out and fluttering its wings in the birch tree. Then there's a mantis sitting so still. She's hoping you won't see her, but you can see her. Up in the tree, you'll find the vines, the grapes, that has a green snake. It looks just like the vines. You almost don't notice it. Then you'll find these beautiful butterflies fluttering their wings and sipping the nectar from their built-in straws. How pretty are those butterfly colors? On the stalk, you'll find a field mouse nibbling on a delicious piece of corn. And then under the rhubarb leaf is a turtle trying to sleep in the cool shade. Bees humming to and fro from their hives. Dig with a shovel and you'll find wiggly pink worms squiggling in the dirt. Sunflowers and the birds eating the seeds. Wasps building a nest. Don't get too close because they're dangerous. How many little creatures did you see in this garden, boys and girls? And here is my garden. So boys and girls, just thought I'd show you the insects in my garden. And then we've got the strange looking one here. He's being quite obedient and sitting very still for the camera. My arm isn't being very obedient though. I'm a little shaky. I'll try and go closer so you can see more detail. Oh, there's the sun. A little better with the sun actually. What do you think boys and girls? God is amazing to make such complicated insects that help our vegetables grow better. Found another one here, boys and girls. I hope you can see this one. There we go. I'm trying to zoom in as best as I can. It's quite windy today, so. Oh, he's trying to hide away. Under the leaf. Uh, Okay, I'm losing focus a little bit, so, and I think he's going to go back under. There's another one there. Very pretty, it looks exactly like the actual leaf of the spinach. He's got a little black, few dots on his back, not sure what that is. But they're all very tiny and hard to spot if you were looking from far because they are camouflaged as the same color of the spinach leaf. I'm trying to get as close as possible so you can see the detail. 